If you have ever been left wondering, what will my print look like on this style of paper? Today, I'm gonna to share with you a method that is A, gonna give you a preview of what your image might look like on any particular paper, and B, help you to make adjustments so that when you do print on that paper, your image is gonna look as close to how you envisaged it as it possibly can. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Click Photography. My name is Dave and today we're pretty much gonna jump straight into Lightroom. Let's do this yourselves at home. You are gonna need paper profiles. So whether you go to a paper manufacturer's website and download those if you're printing your own, or whether you go to your photo lab's website and search for the paper profiles and download them, you will need to get those paper profiles. And once you've got the paper profiles, you need to install them onto your system. Do a quick search on the internet and you'll easily find instructions for how to do that. And once you've installed them into your system, Lightroom should automatically pick up those paper profiles. You may need to restart your system after installing them, so bear that in mind if you don't see them first time. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, I've got the image selected here, is I am going to click the button in the develop module and the option, the bottom left underneath the loop with the image in it that says soft proofing. And what we've got now is instead of clipping warnings, you've got an option for monitor, a monitor gamut warning and a destination source gamut warning. So before we do anything, I'm gonna click that destination source gamut warning. And what that does is it will show you anything that you clip outside of the range of the paper onto which you are printing. So underneath here, now you'll see the option for create print copy, ignore that for now. And then underneath you'll see the profile. I've also already got the profile selected for what we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna be looking at a Hannemule bamboo um, matte paper. And then underneath we've got uh, an option for the intent. Now the intent, perceptual or relative, would depend on your own personal taste. Uh, for me, I generally tend to stick with perceptual. I'm gonna click the option to simulate paper and ink. And what that does, Lightroom is now simulating what this image will look like once it is printed onto your paper. And as you can see there, that's quite a difference because it is a map we're going onto. We're losing quite a lot of contrast. Uh, the colors change, especially keep your eye on the grass underneath the sun down there and you'll see that we get a slight green tint coming into it rather than the slight uh, magenta hue that's in there now. Um, you'll see that the um, blacks or lose a little bit of contrast and you get that matte effect look. So what we're gonna do next is now we are going to bring our before and after view up. And what you'll get is you'll get your original on the left hand side and you'll get your proof preview over on the right hand side. We want to bring our proof preview back to where our original version was. So in this case, uh, I'm just gonna do a very brief one today to kind of show you how I go about doing it. Um, but this isn't in full, I'm not gonna print this image. So in this case, I automatically can see some of the things that I will need to do. So the contrast has been lifted slightly and there's less contrast in the proof preview image. So I'm just gonna pull some of that contrast back and I think about there looks good. And as soon as you go to make your first edit, it's gonna ask you if you want to create a separate copy for soft proofing. We do wanna do that. We don't wanna click make this a proof because that will change your original image. We wanna click create proof copy. And down here in your photo selector, you're gonna see a second image, a virtual copy be created and we can now continue to do some of our edits to bring the proof copy in line with the original.
Okay, so I think that will do. For now, it's close enough, um, and I'm gonna spend hours and hours. And you should do as well, if you are serious about your printing, um, then you will want to spend quite a bit of time getting that proof preview cl as close as possible to how your digital file looks. Um, bear in mind there are certain papers, matte paper, the one that I'm using here, for instance, you are never gonna obtain as much contrast on a um, matte paper as you will on a digital computer screen. Uh, you're never gonna quite get the same level of vibrance and saturation on that matte paper. But once you've got that image as close to your original image, as close as you're happy with to your original image as you want, then all you need to do is click the soft proofing tab again, take that tip tick away from the soft proofing box. You'll now be left with two images. And if you look between the two images, you're gonna notice that they are really, really different, depending on your paper choice. Uh, on this one, you can see the difference between the original digital and the matte. And the matte version now on the screen looks oversaturated, over contrasted, um, a little bit underexposed, and just doesn't look how I had the original image and that's perfectly fine. That's how it should be because once you start to print that image onto the mat, the matte paper is going to bring down that contrast, going to bring down that saturation. It's going to lift the shadows in the black a little bit all through the paper. If you've not already done so, hit subscribe for me. Genuinely appreciate it. Thanks very much. I will see you on another video again next week. I've been Dave. This has been Let's Click Photography and from me for now.